everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another roster reveal. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shannon and I'm Cabin Crew. Over on this channel I do all sorts of travel and lifestyle videos and I also do my roster reveals on the first of every single month. And today is obviously the first of August, however, as I am filming this, it is the 31st of July. So I'm trying to get this done nice and snappy. So before we start, I'd just like to apologize for maybe the lack of personality that comes across in this video today. I landed from Houston at about half past 12 this afternoon. I've then driven home, done all my washing, sorted myself out, and I'm making sure that this video is filmed and edited, ready to go out to you guys tomorrow. So I'm trying to get it done nice and quick, but obviously I've been on a nice eight and a half hour flight. So I'm very, very tired. So I do apologize if I'm, I'm a little bit slower than normal in today's video. And yes, some of you might be thinking if you watched my last roster reveal for July, then you will know that Houston was not on my roster. Quite a lot changed for July's roster. So as always, for this roster reveal, I'm gonna go back and tell you everything that changed from July. Then I'm gonna tell you all of my bids for August. And then I'm gonna tell you what I actually got for August. So, starting with the changes that happened in July. So July was quite a busy month for me. It almost felt like a full-time roster. If you've watched my videos quite a lot, then you will know that I'm now part-time cabin crew and I'm 75%, which now means I get a week off every single month. However, July just felt like it went on forever. I had four blocks of work in July, which doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're traveling to lots of different places across the world, it's a lot, let me tell you. And since becoming 75%, I've done two maybe a maximum of three blocks of work, and the third one has always been quite short. Whereas these ones were full on and I had like two days off between all of them, so it was a busy month for me. So, my first working block was short haul. I think it was four days. That all stayed the same, which is crazy. <laughs> that never usually happens. Short haul usually changes all the time. So I was also meant to go to JFK. I swapped that for a Nashville. I don't know why anyone wanted to get rid of their Nashville, but I got lucky and I did a little crew swap and I managed to get a Nashville for my New York and I had a really, really great time. That vlog was actually posted yesterday at the time that you're watching this, so if you haven't already, make sure to go back and check it out. I had a really, really nice time and I put it all into like a little montage for you all, so definitely go and watch that video. There's so much to do in Nashville and it's such a vibe. I had a great time. I then went to San Diego, which was set and I had the best time ever. I think San Diego is probably one of my favourite trips that I've done in the nearly two years that I've been crew. So San Diego would definitely be going on the bidding list sometime soon. I really enjoyed it there and there's still so much to do in San Diego that I haven't done. So would love to go back there. Had a really nice trip there and I vlogged it all. So that vlog will be coming up very, very soon. And then one more change. Like I said, I've just landed from Houston. I was never meant to go to Houston. I was meant to go to Boston. And this is gonna sound really, really silly, but I swapped off the Boston. I wasn't going to because I really liked like Boston. I really like it as a trip. It's a nice hotel. It's a nice area. It's one of those chilled trips where you feel like you just don't really have to do anything. So yeah, I didn't mind the fact that I had Boston at all. However, I am a bridesmaid for my best friend's wedding coming up this month in August and I needed to top up the tan. And the hotel that we stay in in Boston doesn't have an outdoor pool. So I swapped to a trip that did have an outdoor pool and that was Houston. So that is literally my only reason for swapping and I spent the entire time sat outside by the pool. I think I'm a little bit sunburnt, but I'm hoping that'll go down by the time I put my bridesmaid's dress on because the bridesmaid's dress is a very, very similar colour to sunburn. It's like somewhere between like a musky pink and like a, a pale burgundy sort of thing. So if you were sunburned, you'd kind of blend in a little bit. So I really hope that that turns into a tan nice and quick. But yeah, that was the reason I changed from Boston to Houston. Again, had a really nice time, had a really lovely crew. And that brings me to here. That is everything that happened in July. You might be wondering why on earth I am landing from Houston and then filming this video. I just like to make sure that I've done all of my working blocks before I film the next roster reveal because like I said, I like to add any changes that I've had in the past month. And if I filmed this video before the end of my working block, then something could happen. Maybe we get delayed and I stay out another day and then I would need to let you guys know in the new roster reveal. So it didn't make sense to do it any earlier than today. So now I'm rushing around to get it done. You are welcome. But yeah, 
that is all the changes that happened in July. So now I'm going to tell you my bids for August. And I'm going to go over here. Let's move over so you can see the lovely pretty pictures that I make over here. So I really didn't know what to bid for for August. The only thing that I knew I needed was one day off. Other than that, I didn't really know what to do. So I had a little look on what sort of trips were being put out for August see if there was anything that was like usually a three day but they'd made it a four day so you had longer to explore or maybe they had some nice standovers I did my research this time because I didn't have anything specific in mind so after my little bit of research I found that they were doing a Venice standover which basically means you actually get enough time to go out and explore in Venice usually if we go to Venice it's there and back or it's a night stop and you've got minimum rest before you go off and do the next flight the next day so you don't really get time to explore Venice and I would love to explore Venice so I tried to bid for a Venice standover in the hope that I'd get a nice 24 hours to spend in Venice and then obviously I had the day off that I bidded for and then I just put a four day trip in for a specific date because I didn't want to end up with loads of there and backs I just wanted to get a nice four day trip in there somewhere I've got quite a lot of annual leave this month because I'm going to Cornwall with Ryan and I've also got a hen night for Rosie and we've also got the actual wedding for Rosie and George so lots and lots and lots of things planned this month so I didn't have many days to work with and these trips were ones that I knew would fit within the days that I was actually allowed to work. So yeah, they were my bids. A Venice standover, a day off, and just a four day trip on a specific Monday, which meant I got my nice little weekend off. So they're the bids for August. So on to what I actually got for August. This is what my August roster is gonna look like. So we already have a bid achieved because that one day that I bidded to have off, I got. So give that one a little tick. As for the rest of my roster, this is how it went. My first working block is a block of four available days, which basically means you can go anywhere at any time, any place. So for the first day, I think I'm going to have a non-op already because they would have had to have contacted me three minutes ago if they were going to change my roster. The only other time they've got to contact me is on that first day. They've got from like 6am till 1pm to contact me, but they have to give me 10 hours notice because it's on the day. So it's unlikely that I'll get anything for that first day, but it's not impossible. So four available days as it stands, potentially nothing yet on the first day, but I can't imagine that's going to sit like that for the rest of those days. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get given something maybe it's short haul maybe it's a nice three-day trip i could go to san diego again that'd be nice if they called me for a san diego on that first monday i would not be disappointed in the slightest but yeah that's my first working block i will let you know if and what they get filled with in my next roster reveal technically i guess that's a little bit of a bid achieved because i asked for a four-day trip it might not necessarily be a four-day trip but it's on the days that i asked for so then i get the weekend off so technically it has worked in my favour, but it's not exactly what I asked for. But we're going to give it a tick anyway, because I didn't care what I had. I just cared that it was on those days. So we'll give it a tick. My next working block after that is the dreaded there and backs. You remember when I said I didn't want there and backs this month? Yeah, the right in place of where that Venice standover was meant to be. So I didn't get the Venice standover, guys. Instead, I got three beautiful there and backs. I'm so excited about it. So my first there and back is to Athens. That's a long day. It's a 7.15 report and a 17.55 clear. The next day, I can't remember what JTR is, but I'm going there. Santorini! Lush! I don't think I've done it there and back to Santorini before, actually. Not that it makes a difference, because I won't get off to see it. I would love to go to Santorini, though. That's definitely on the list for holidays. And then the third day is... I've been here before, haven't I? Where's this? Preveza, that's it. Do you remember when I went to Preveza before? I couldn't pronounce it for a start. And then that was the day that I had that destructive passenger on. Do you remember? If any of you have seen that vlog, then you know exactly what I'm on about. That was stressful. But yeah, I mean, they're not too bad. They're all, all three of those days are very, very long days. But it is what it is, I guess. I have really, really tried to swap them as well because I clear really, really late on that last day. And the day after, me and Ryan are going to Cornwall. And we kind of hoped that the day before we'd be able to maybe drive halfway, stay in a hotel, and then drive the rest of the way. So we haven't got like a six hour drive on the first day. But it doesn't look like it's going to be possible, to be honest. But I will keep you informed. Hopefully I can swap it for something that works a little bit easier, maybe clears a little bit earlier, has some night stops involved. That's what I'm going for. But I haven't been very successful so far. 
fingers crossed, I can get it changed. And then last but not least, my final working block of the month is a little three day trip to Dallas. So we get to Dallas at about 6 p.m. and then we don't leave Dallas until 6 p.m. the next day. So 24 hours there, which is normal for a three day trip. I think I had a Dallas scheduled before, but I don't think I've actually been. My mum's gonna roll her eyes at me because I literally said the same thing about Houston. I was like, I've never been to Houston. And she was like, yeah, you have. And I was like, no, I haven't. She said, yes, you have. And I was like, mm, I don't believe you. I got to the hotel. I got to the airport even and I texted my mum and I was like, I think you're right. And then I got to the hotel and was like, definitely been here before. Definitely been here before. But I don't think I've been to Dallas. I know for a fact I've had it scheduled. Whether that was when I was off sick, I do not know. But I don't think I've been. <laughs> I'll let you guys know in the next one. And that is my entire roster. Short and sweet. Lots of annual leave, lots of fun plans, lots of travel plans as well this month. So it's going to be a good month and it's quite slow on the work to be honest. Obviously the available days, I don't even know where I'm going. The there and backs are just not that fun. And then a Dallas. Crew have said to me that there's not really anything to do in Dallas. The hotel that we stay in is quite away from everything I believe. Maybe it's near a shopping mall. I think that's about it. But I'm going to take it as a nice chilled day, maybe do some editing whilst I'm there. Not a very exciting roster this month, guys. Hopefully, the next roster is more exciting and I'll be able to tell you that I went to San Diego and did even more stuff from my available days. But, who knows. So yeah, short and sweet. Like I said before, I will be sure to let you know anything that changes in August roster in the next roster reveal, which will be for September. I've already put my bids in for September and I haven't done anything too crazy. But if I get one thing, then I can go and do something really, really exciting. So, fingers crossed for that. Like I said, the Nashville vlog went up yesterday, so make sure to go and check that out. And I've also got a San Diego vlog coming up as well. I'm also going to do a little video on what I pack in my cabin crew bags for long haul. I've already done that style video for short haul so if you haven't already seen that video and you would like to know or you're becoming cabin crew and you'd like the advice then I'll link that video in the description below. You can go and check that one out. But yeah I'm going to do a video on what's in my cabin crew bags for long haul. Hopefully that can be helpful to some of you. And I'm also going to do a little video on some Disneyland tips. So obviously recently I went to California and did Disneyland with Josie. We had the best time ever. I've got lots of vlogs on it and a haul as well so go and check them out if you haven't done so already. But we learned so so much on that trip. Even just from Josie herself she gave me so many tips and we asked the cast members so many questions so we learned quite a lot and I'm going to make sure to make a note of all of them and put them into a little video for any of you that are going to be going to California and doing Disneyland soon. Hopefully that'll be helpful to you as well. But as for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.